In the 22 years since Pan Am 103 exploded in the skies over Lockerbie, Scotland, U.S. officials have always believed it was the terror handiwork of Muammar Gaddafi. Now the defection of longtime Gaddafi henchman Musa Kusa may give prosecutors the hard proof. Clearly, Musa Kusa is a person with a lot of blood in his hands over many years. Yeah, Veteran I, I, CIA I, 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 officer I, 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 Vince Canestraro, who investigated the Pan Am bombing, says Kusa helped orchestrate the attack, apparently to avenge the 1986 U.S. bombing of Gaddafi's headquarters. Musa Kusa was personally responsible for the actual organization of it. The orders to do it clearly came from Muammar Gaddafi himself. Kusa, who defected to Britain yesterday, is now being questioned by British intelligence about the inside workings of Gaddafi's regime. And Scottish prosecutors have specific questions about Lockerbie. Let me be clear, Musa Kusa is not being granted immunity. There is no deal of that kind. Families of the 189 Americans who were killed in the bombing also want answers. Brian Flynn's brother, John Patrick, died on Pan Am 103. One of the things we've been saying for 22 years is we want to know the truth. Why did it happen? Who was behind it? How do you hold these people accountable? In 2009, it was Kusa who negotiated the release of the only man ever convicted in the Lockerbie bombing. Abdul El Megrahi was released by Scottish authorities on humanitarian grounds after claiming he was dying of prostate cancer. McGrahi's release drew an angry rebuke from FBI Director Robert Mueller, who wrote, your action rewards a terrorist and makes a mockery of the rule of law. But the U.S. Justice Department has never closed its Lockerbie investigation, and now the FBI has a hot new lead. Musa Kusa is going to be a very authoritative source of information that implicates Gaddafi in a lot of uh, events that uh, are prosecutable. Now, Kusa may ultimately push for some kind of immunity if he's ever to deliver the goods on Gaddafi. But frankly, after the outrage over McGrahi's release, both U.S. and U.K. officials are not in a very charitable mood, and they promise to take a very tough line. Erica? Bob, what's the thinking in terms of other information that Kusa may be able to deliver to interrogators? Well, this is an important guy. He was one of Gaddafi's closest aides. He ran intelligence in Libya for about 15 years. Most recently, as you mentioned, he was the foreign minister. So he knows about numerous past atrocities, and as one person said, he knows where all of the bodies are buried. Also, he knows about Gaddafi's current state of mind. That's important. He should have a pretty good read on the other top Libyan advisors and a good sense of how fragile or maybe how solid Gaddafi's inner core circle is right now. Erica? Bob Bohr, appreciate it tonight. Thanks.